Hello everybody, welcome to this massive open online course on solid fluid operations. So as we are discussing uh, about uh, the particle separation by different mechanisms where we were uh, actually uh, discussed that uh, uh, what is actually the different mechanism of that particle separation like uh, gravity effect, different cyclone uh, effect or centrifugal action. Also uh, we uh, have discussed uh, more about that particle separation by electrostatic precipitator even uh, in the previous lecture we were discussing about that particle separation by uh, it is called that uh, back filtration process uh, where that industry outlet uh, where carbonaceous particle how can be separated by that filter cloth. Now in this lecture also we will try to uh, learn more about that particle separation but it will be uh, based on that you know scrubbing technology where there will be wet uh, you know method that means some liquid uh, it will be sprayed over the you know uh, flowing of you know particle laden gas where that particles will be separated by attaching that you know particles on the surface of the you know water as a droplet which will be coming downward and it can be separated. So in this case it will be called as that wet scrubber for particle uh, removal or separation. So in this lecture we will try to know what is that actually scrubber, why that is very important there. You will see that uh, that scrubbing process maybe you know that scrubbing basically used for that gaseous uh, compound to be separated in a liquid medium that is you know that scrubbing or uh, the gaseous uh, component can be adsorbed on the solid particles there. So in this case here uh, that gaseous uh, compound not only that the particulate materials can be adsorbed or can be you know separated by the you know liquid drop making liquid drop where that you will get that more interfacial area between that uh, interfacial area of that you know liquid droplet and uh, based on which that uh, particles would be you know uh, attaching on that liquid droplet and it will be carrying downward and separating. So this is the uh, basic concept of that you know uh, scrubber or scrubbing process. When uh, that you will see that uh, we are operating this particle separation by this you know liquid or solvent okay so it will be called as wet uh, uh, scrubbers or sometimes it is called wet collectors so in this case the scrubbing or separation of that particles is a very effective means of uh, removing small particles from a gas in this case uh, you will see that water is being employed for washing uh, those you know particulate materials or to remove that particulate materials from the gas stream directly and also this removal of particles will be resulted from collisions between that particles and the collecting uh, you know medium. So here collecting medium is the liquid or solvent and uh, also uh, that particles uh, which will be colliding with that particle colliding with that particle as well as that you know collecting medium there in the you know operation uh, in the system. So removal of particles that will be resulted from that collision between uh, you know particles and the colliding medium. Now uh, this uh, collision uh, whenever you are talking about that collision will be that particles and that liquid medium. How that liquid medium will be colliding with that particles that is why to get that you know that collision between uh, that particles uh, with that liquid you have to make that liquid as a droplet. So that liquid will be supplied from a uh, certain you know mechanical uh, you know provision so that there you can produce that you know droplet okay of that liquid. So there will be a several mechanism of that. So uh, before coming to that you will see uh, uh, what are the different uh, you know systems or equipment that are being used for this particle collection or separation by that you know liquid or solvent. So in this case there are mainly two types of those you know uh, equipment can be segregated uh, for that scrubbing of particles. Type 1 is in which an array of liquid drops that is spray you can say from the collecting medium that will be produced. In this case uh, generally uh, you will see that uh, special name of that equipment is called spray tower that means liquid will be you know allowed to fall as a uh, liquid droplet uh, 
uh, or as a spray you can say. And also cyclone spray tower, they are also liquid will be you know allowed to pass through that you know equipment from the uh, top as a spray whereas that whenever it will be sprayed that liquid droplet will be you know circulating as a centrifugal uh, action inside the bed. So that is why it will be called a cyclone spray tower. Also uh, there will be another uh, type of uh, scrubber for this type 1, it is called spray baffle scrubber or a spray baffle collector. So in this case some mechanical uh, you know uh, provision as a baffle you can say that some you know plate or rod it will be you know uh, placed inside the bed so that that whenever I uh, you know gas and also liquid droplet will be passed through that you will see there will be some obstruction and because of that obstruction that gaseous uh, stream changes the uh, you know flow direction after you know getting uh, uh, you know obstruction from that you know uh, mechanical uh, uh, devices or provisions like baffle here. So in that case during that you know uh, change of direction there will be you know that contact between that droplet and gaseous streams will be enhanced and then that intensity or you can say that efficiency of that you know collection will be enhanced. So these are uh, three different types of you know spray tower or spray uh, scrubber we can say based on the type one where that array of liquid drops uh, that will form uh, in the uh, collecting medium. And type 2 in which you will see that weighted surfaces of the various types that constitute the collecting uh, medium. So where that you have to collect that particulate materials that you have to weight those surfaces. So that is why here it is called that uh, the surface to be weighted on which that particles to be collected. So in this case it will be called as plate scrubber and then venture scrubber and packed towers. Here you will see plate scrubber is basically where that you know in a tray there will be a pool of liquid and in that tray you will see that from the bottom part that uh, tray will be you know porous so that, that from that uh, bottom part through the pores that uh, gaseous stream will be flow upward as a dispersed phase of bubbles and that uh, bubbles will be coming in contact with that you know that liquid uh, and then getting that more contact between that you know uh, you know liquid that means a slurry that liquid plus solid with that you know bubble surface. And then you will see that uh, there will be a transfer of particles uh, from that uh, gaseous uh, stream to that uh, liquid and then that liquid will be you know for taken out from the bottom part. So these are called plate scrubbers as a plate. There may be you know more than one plate will be in the uh, system. So uh, successively you will see that or consequent you know trays will be acting as uh, the same way. Uh, a mechanism to produce that bubbles uh, or uh, you know and that from that bubbles how that particles to be you know segregated to the you know uh, liquid medium. So there will be more than one number of trays uh, or plate will be there. And then another is called venture scrubber. In this case you will see that uh, uh, liquid will be you know passed through that you know venture and they are uh, will be a, uh, in the venture you will see there will be one suction chamber and another will be you know diverging section. In the suction chamber you will see that liquid whenever it will be allowed to pass through a you know venture or through a nozzle you will see that the liquid will uh, automatically suck that you know uh, gaseous stream particle laden gaseous stream and then uh, it will be sucked that it will separate those particles from the gaseous uh, stream uh, whenever it will be you know. Uh, come in contact with that gaseous uh, medium with that you know collective medium. So in this way it is called venture uh, scrubber. In this case you will see that not only that formation of droplet from that venture of that liquid passing through that venture uh, then uh, uh, there will be parallel formation of that you know gaseous uh, bubble along with that particulate material. So they are it will be very you know intensive to collect that solid material or particulate materials in the uh, you know uh, droplet which is uh, you know formed in that venture. So uh, this is basically the advantage is that gas is automatically sucked by that you know liquid jet and that liquid jet whenever it will be you know coming through that venture in the pool there will be formation of again that uh, liquid droplet and those droplet will be collecting that you know gaseous uh, uh, materials uh, unwanted materials or constituents 
and it will be separated out. So, in this way you can separate that you know particular meters. But the pack towers is another mechanism you will see that here you will see uh, some materials to be you know used as a packing materials where that uh, gaseous con contents or constituents or you can say that some contaminants it will be you know adsorbed on the surface of that uh, packed materials uh, whenever it will be passing through that you know packed bed. So, it is called packed tower. So, these are uh, different types of you know collecting uh, you know devices for particulate materials uh, as a wet uh, uh, scrubbers or collectors. So, here in this slide it is showed that uh, spray scrubber here particles are collected by liquid drops here liquid drops is produced inside that you know scrubber uh, uh, there uh, either by you know that uh, nozzle or some uh, spray uh, provisions that is mechanical provisions by which you can spread that liquid as a droplet and liquid drops produced by atomization by the spray nozzles. So, in this case uh, collection efficiency would be depending on the droplet size, gas velocity, liquid gas uh, uh, flow ratio and also uh, the trajectory of the you know uh, droplet. And uh, you will see that the optimum droplet diameter for fine particle collection lies in the range of 100 to 500 micrometer in the case of spray scrubber. And in this case gravitational settling scrubbers can achieve cut dimensions uh, of diameter of about 2 micrometer where you will see that sometimes uh, the gravitational settling scrubber also is useful where that fine particles can be you know separated by this you know droplet. So, in this case uh, you will see that they are uh, you know optimum uh, size of that particles will be 2 micrometer. And the liquid or gas ratio is in the range of uh, generally 0 0.001 to 0 0.01 meter cube per uh, meter cube of gas you know which is to be treated like this. So, another uh, important scrubber it is called cyclone scrubber here also you will see that as shown in the picture or slide here. In this case uh, you will see the drops can be introduced into the gas stream of a cyclone to collect the particles. In this case the spray can be directed outward from a central manifold or inward uh, from the collector wall here in this uh, picture shown it is there. So, uh, from the uh, spray uh, ring the uh, you know uh, liquid drops would be you know produced and which will be coming out uh, 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 to the bottom as a, a spray drops you can say that and which will be introduced into that you know gaseous stream here the particle laden gaseous stream enters into this you know you know system and in this case the spray can be directed uh, you know outward from a central from a you know that central manifold that means uh, from the central part it will be directed outward that means to the uh, wall of this you know uh, devices and uh, because of which there will be a, you know circular uh, motion of this you know droplet inside this you know uh, devices. So, here this uh, whenever that spray will produce the droplet the droplet will be you know circulating inside the bed but that will be alongside of the wall. So, uh, during that you know cyclonic movement of this droplet the droplet will come in contact with the gaseous particles which will be coming uh, from this part here at the inlet and then because of that collision and attachment of that particles will be on the surface of the droplet and then that uh, you know droplet will be collecting uh, from the bottom and those uh, droplet will be coming along with the particles. So, in that way that particles will be separated. We have talked about that baffle scrubber also in this case the changes in the gas flow velocity will be there here dirty gas will be entering and these are the yellow these are uh, uh, marked it is called you know uh, baffles and uh, here uh, the bottom part of this equipment is a uh, you know sludge removal that is particles which will be you know separated here from the liquid to be and from the top you will see that uh, water spray will be uh, produced and water spray and it will be you know coming as a droplet and whenever dirty gas will be flowing you will see that it will be changing its uh, you know flow direction uh, whenever it gets obstruction from this bubble and then uh, it will be moving like this. So, here in this case uh, we are having that mechanism that changes in the gas flow velocity and direction 
that is induced by the solid surface of the baffles. So, because of which you will get that more contact between droplet and the you know particle laden gases as well as sometimes uh, on the surface of the bubbles there will be a, you know particle attachment. So, after that uh, from the liquid uh, you can separate those you know particulate materials which will be collected from the you know sludge outlet here as shown in the picture. And then Venturi uh, scrubber you will see that one picture it is given as Venturi here uh, uh, this is called Venturi this one which has two parts one is that called you know that uh, converging and this one is the diverging section and here gas inlet with uh, pollutants. So, and from that you know chamber one nozzle should be you know uh, attached it will be you know high pressure nozzle and through this high pressure nozzle you know scrubbing liquid to be you know supplied uh, as an inlet and there you will see that uh, uh, through that nozzle the liquid will be coming as a you know jet and whenever jet will be coming that gas uh, that is coming out uh, in the inlet it will be sucked by that liquid jet and uh, getting contact with that liquid uh, and gas pollutants and there you will see that uh, from this you know converging uh, to this diverging section there will be a change of pressure from this high pressure to the lower pressure you will see that there will be a you know formation of droplet and then droplet will be collecting those you know sucked polluted uh, you know gas materials uh, and then uh, it will be coming downward and after that it will be separated from this provision. Whereas, the gas whatever it is coming out with that you know uh, liquid uh, that will be separated here. So, that is why here it will be itself the separator uh, and from this separator uh, uh, clean gas will be coming out as a outlet whereas that you know dirty liquid will be coming out as a liquid outlet here. So, in this case uh, we are having here convergent diverging section this is represented as a you know Venturi and those uh, Venturi will be creating that you know uh, droplet of that water whereas uh, during that formation of droplet by that you know high pressure nozzle uh, that you know liquid jet will be sucking that gas inlet uh, uh, gas uh, with that pollutants and then there will be coming in uh, there will be a contact between that you know pollutants and that liquid and that liquid it will be uh, taking out that uh, pollutants and it will be coming out as a liquid outlet whereas that gas will be separated in the separator and which will be coming out as a gas outlet. So, this is the mechanism of that Venturi scrubber. So, in this case main thing is that the moving gas stream is used to atomize liquids into the droplets and in this case high gas velocities around 60 to 120 meter per second lead to high relative velocities between gas and particles and promote that collection. And uh, another one it is called plate scrubber. In this case a vertical tower that will contain one or more horizontal plates. Plates here may be sometimes it is called as trays. In this case gas enters the bottom of the tower here okay, and uh, uh, it will pass through the you know perforations in each plate here there will be plate these are the plate. So, in each plate there will be a perforation through which that gas will be uh, flowing. In that case uh, through that perforation so whenever a uh, gas will be flowing counter currently of that liquid flow rate which is coming out from the top here at the uh, liquid inlet and you will see that in this plate whenever liquid will be come in contact with that uh, gaseous uh, you know uh, pollutants uh, which is coming uh, from the bottom of this plate to the you know uh, perforations you will see that uh, will be you know uh, that will be contact between uh, liquid and uh, you know uh, particles and then liquid will be you know uh, flowing downward with that solid particles and then it will be separated from the you know outlet. And in this case plate scrubbers are usually named uh, for the type of plates they contain uh, sometimes it will be called sheep plate tower. Here uh, instead of these porous perforations perforated plates they are sometimes using as a sheep ok. So, uh, it will be called as uh, then sheep plate tower ok and collection efficiency increases as the diameter of the perforations it decreases. If your uh, perforations diameter that means whole diameter through this you know uh, plate if it is uh, decreases then collection efficiency will increase because they are. Uh, more finer bubbles will be produced and which will get that more interfacial area between gas and liquid and then 
uh, it will give you the better efficiency of the collection. In this case a card diameter that collected with uh, 50 percent efficiency of about 1 micrometer uh, you know diameter can be achieved with 3.2 millimeter diameter holes in sheet plate. So, this you have to you know remember. So, this is the basic concept of that plate scrubber. Then uh, we are coming to that uh, packed bed you know scrubber. In this case uh, it operates uh, similarly to packed bed gas adsorber here. In this case the gas is forced to impinge on a liquid surface uh, to reach a gas exit there. In this case some of the liquid atomizes into drops that are entrained by the gas. Here you will see that liquid will be you know allowed to pass through this you know nozzle uh, or you can say the distributor where that liquid will be you know coming as a distributed uh, liquid in the packed bed. Uh, sometimes that liquid whenever it will be distributed there itself with the formation of droplet those droplet also will be coming through that you know packing you know voids. So, whenever liquid will be coming through that you know void of that you know packed and parallelly whenever gas will be you know going upward the counter currently then gas and liquid will come in contact and then that uh, separation of that you know uh, particles will will be happened just by you know attaching that solid particles with the liquid. Now, you have to select that liquid in such way that some will be hydrophilic some will be hydrophobic materials. So, those who are hydro Philic in nature those will be easily you know separated by this you know scrubbing liquid whereas hydrophobic materials may not be that effective to collect by this you know solvent. So, in this case the gas exit is designed so as to minimize the loss of entrained droplets here. So, whenever liquid will be passed through that packing materials you will see that there will be a formation of droplets. So, in this case it will be easier to design that you know packed bed condition to have more in uh, you know uh, capacitate uh, that pack bed scrubber. In this case uh, uh, it will be uh, better to uh, design that you know pack bed uh, just by you know you know losing that you know droplet uh, in that packed uh, void fractions. Uh, so, here it is advisable to uh, produce as much as possible to produce that liquid droplet in that void, but uh, sometimes it is very uh, difficult. Uh, to get that droplet, uh, but it needs that high pressure. So, that is why it will be more you know energy uh, consumption to you know that uh, uh, produce that more finer droplet inside the you know packing bed. Uh, whereas, you will see that uh, sometimes that whenever gas will be at high flow rate the, those you know liquid droplet also will be coming out through that uh, gaseous medium. So, in that case as much as possible that gas exit should be designed in such way that that uh, droplet should not come with the gas uh, uh, medium uh, uh, which is coming out from the top. So, in this case uh, collection efficiency uh, may be you know affected by that liquid flow rate even uh, packing material what type of materials even what is the size of that material what is the you know packing size what type of you know materials that and what will be the effective size of the packing material that is uh, important. So, collection efficiency would be you know affected by those parameter ok. And then we are having another important devices to uh, separate this you know particulate materials in wet basis it is called prudage bed scrubber. So, in this case you will see that this is one of the picture of that you know prudage bed scrubber typical uh, you know bed uh, scrubber here. It is called circulating uh, fluidized bed scrubber. You will see that uh, from the bottom part of this uh, you know fluidized bed that is inlet flue gas uh, and ash is to be you know uh, allowed to pass from this bottom and it will go through a distributor. Uh, it may be you know distributed uh, you know that distributor uh, as a dispersed phase of you know bubbles or void you can say. Whereas, uh, the liquid will be uh, allowed to pass from that you know top where the counter current operation it will happen inside the bed of this fluidized bed. Uh, you will see that uh, there then uh, particles uh, will be come in contact in more intensive way uh, in this fluidized bed uh, and uh, then uh, that particles will be you know collecting from that gaseous uh, uh, medium uh, to that you know water. 
uh, in this fluidized bed. And whereas uh, you will see the some particles those who are not uh, you know attaching on the liquid uh, bed, uh, liquid uh, inside the bed, those can also be you know separated from this you know uh, outlet of the gas by some other mechanism it may be you know that fabric filter or cyclone separator there it may be there. So, here uh, you will see that uh, the fluidized bed scrubber is also one of the important you know equipment based on which you can get that you know separation of the particle more intensively uh, or more efficiently. In this case uh, you will see that gas and liquid will be come in contact in the fluidized bed uh, more uh, you know enhanced way you can say because they are you know uh, gaseous particles will be fluidized in the liquid medium and uh, there may be that you know more mixing will be uh, happened inside the bed and also there will be a you know that uh, more contact between gas and liquid uh, they are inside the bed and that is why uh, the you know separation efficiency will be more. And in this case gas passes upward through the packing while liquid will be sprayed up from the bottom and or flows down over the top of the fluidized layer of the packing. So, in this way you can say whereas that uh, if uh, some particles which are not uh, separated in the liquid then uh, those also can be separated out from the you know other part that is from the upper part and then it will be attached to that uh, you know fabric filter or cyclone scrubber cyclone separator and on which that can be separated. So, then it will be you know uh, uh, again that you know whatever gas or liquid to, or moisture it will be you know coming out that can be utilized here. So, in this way you can uh, have this fluidized bed scrubber for the particle separation. This fluidized bed scrubber is used not only for particle uh, uh, you know separation, it is used for uh, separation of uh, gaseous component also from the uh, uh, gaseous mixer of uh, like you know carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sulfide those uh, you know uh, you know gaseous uh, materials to be separated uh, just by solvent of liquid maybe you know sodium hydroxide or other amine solvent where that uh, there will be a you know absorption capacity of that liquid of that gaseous material should be more high. So, in this case that uh, gas liquid contact to enhance it that fluidized bed scrubber is being used. Then what are the factors uh, for this collection efficiency of any uh, of uh, you know fluidized bed scrubber or you know that other type of you know uh, uh, scrubber. So, in that case the total energy loss in the equipment to be considered and also per unit volume of gas treated what will be the drop size, what will be the packing structure all those you know parameters to be considered here. Almost all the energy is introduced in the gas and thus the energy loss can be measured by the pressure drop of gas to the you know unit. So, here pressure drop whatever it will be produced based on which you can calculate what will be the energy consumption. So, that pressure drop is created basically based on that you know gas and liquid flow rate inside the bed. And you will see that some advantage and disadvantage of this wet scrubber compared to the other uh, you know type of you know uh, mechanism. In this case some advantage is that the major advantage of wet collectors is the wide variety of types allowing the selection of a unit suitable to the particular removal problem. Whereas, uh, some disadvantage also will be there in this case high pressure therefore, that more energy will be uh, required to you know operate this equipment. And also you have to you know operate this equipment in such way that cleaning of that you know uh, uh, equipment should be one of the important things and also maintenance charge will be very high. Disposal of large volume of scrubbing liquid also must be undertaken for this. So, that is the other you know disadvantage of this type of wet scrubber. Then uh, spray tower as a scrubber uh, that we have already discussed that the simplest type of wet collector is a spray tower into which water droplet is introduced uh, by means of spray nozzle. In this case water droplets fall freely uh, you know at the terminal settling velocities counter currently through the you know rising gas stream and in this case particle contacting liquid collectors in a pool at the bottom and must be pumped out of the pool of liquid for treatment to remove that solids and the cleaned liquid will be recycled to the tower for again collecting of unwanted if is there any material of there or not. Now, uh, how to actually uh, calculate that collection efficiency of that scrape scrubber 
as free scrubber that so of course you have to know here it basically depends on that uh, what will be the flow rate of that you know gas also what will be the you know geometry also what will be the terminal velocity of the particles and what will be the efficiency of that each droplet for collecting that material all those factors will be giving that you know collection efficiency so the overall free spray uh, uh, you know scrubber efficiency can be calculated by equation number 7 here given it is basically that uh, total efficiency or overall efficiency you can say that it will be depending on that number of particles that will be removed per second from the gas stream uh, here it is basically 1 minus n by n0 what is n? n is basically number of particles removed per second from the gas stream and n0 is basically initial number of particles enter per second here. And L is basically along the length of that you know uh, spray uh, tower or uh, spray scrubber that is uh, also uh, to be measured because this number may be you know uh, increasing or decreasing based on that geometry of that scrubber. So, the number of particles uh, or concentration of the particles that is actually uh, varying with respect to height of the column. So, that is why the number is depending on the length of the or height of the column. And also one of the important point whenever the uh, spray tower is uh, you know uh, producing that spray there will be a formation of droplet. So, in that case the terminal velocity of the droplet also will be you know affecting on that collection efficiency. Also you will see that what will be the net velocity you will see that whenever droplet will be falling downward parallelly you will see that gas was stream also will be flowing upward and also the particles also will be moving downward with its terminal velocity. So there are uh, you know terminal velocity of the droplet, terminal velocity of the particle even gas flow rate that is in the upward direction or opposite direction of the liquid and particles will be there. So, what will be the effective you know uh, velocity at which that drop will be falling downward that is also important. So, that is represented by here u only u. So, here u is basically the drop at which velocity it will be fall down relative to a fixed coordinate system in the presence of a rising gas velocity ok and also you will see that uh, 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 this uh, uh, will not be the same as that you know particle terminal velocity ok. So, the droplet terminal velocity and that effective velocity of the droplet which is falling out uh, relative to that you know gas velocity which will it will not be exactly the same as that terminal velocity that also you have to remember. And also another important point that what is the size of the droplet that is also important that is represented by ds ok. And also you will see that what will be the length of the chamber and what will be the collection efficiency of individual droplet ok for collecting that particle. So, that also to be considered. So, here if we consider that single droplet and what is the particles is collecting from its initial particle concentration then you will be able to calculate what will be the particle uh, collection efficiency of individual droplet. Now, for overall you know collection efficiency to calculate it you have to consider the whole number of you know droplet there that you know how many droplets should be forming that depends on that you know flow rate of the gas, flow rate of the liquid, even geometry of the system and also through which through uh, which mechanical provisions you are producing that uh, uh, you know droplet either it is from that you know nozzle or it is from that you know perforated plate or other mechanism that you are producing the droplet. So, depends on that droplet diameter based on that distributor of the liquid. So, based on which that efficiency will be depending. So, if you are having more finer droplet it will have more number of you know uh, droplet it will have more interfacial area to collect those uh, you know particulate material then you will get that more efficiency. So, in that case uh, you have to calculate what will be the overall or total you know spray scrubber efficiency. So, that will be is equal to 1 minus exponent of minus 3 by 2 eta drop 
into u t by u into w by u z s c into l by d s as shown in the uh, uh, slide as a uh, uh, as an equation 7 here where you will see that eta drop is basically the efficiency of that uh, single droplet for its uh, particle collection u t is the terminal velocity uh, of the you know uh, particle and u is the that means relative velocity of the water droplet at which it will be falling downward relative to the gas velocity and u is the gas velocity s is the cross sectional area of the chamber w is uh, is basically what is that uh, the you know if it is suppose the cross section is uh, suppose cylindrical or then then what will be the width and uh, also here you will see that l is the length of that you know uh, uh, chamber and ds is the uh, you will see that uh, uh, droplet diameter. And in this case quantity W by U G A C is the ratio of volumetric flow rate of water to the volumetric flow rate of air. Here W is the volumetric flow rate of you know that uh, uh, water ok. Here W it is not that width here it will be uh, volumetric flow rate of water. So, uh, here the quantity W by U G A C is the ratio of volumetric flow rate of water to the volumetric flow rate of air. And in this case uh, U T that means terminal velocity of the particle that will be equal to you know uh, this is the terminal velocity of the water droplet U T is the water droplet. So, it will be 958 into 1 minus exponent of minus you know D S by 0 0.171 whole to the power 1.147. So, D S is basically droplet diameter ok droplet diameter. So, droplet diameter that will give you the terminal velocity whereas terminal velocity of the particle uh, that actually uh, it will be very negligible compared to that droplet diameter because the particle uh, is very fine. So, that terminal velocity of the particle can be omitted there. So, it will not be effective on that relative velocity of that you know uh, water droplet falling relative to the gas. And eta drop is basically what is that efficiency of the particle collection for a single uh, droplet. This is basically area swept free of particles divided by droplet cross sectional area as shown in the equation number 8. So, based on this uh, equation number 7 and 8 you would be able to calculate what will be the collection efficiency of the scr uh, spray scrubber. And the overall efficiency of a spray uh, tower that will increase uh, as the collection efficiency of a single drop increases, as the ratio of the volumetric flow rate of water to that of air increases, as the length of the chamber increases, also it increases with the increases as the diameter of the drops decreases. So, I think you understood that uh, what is the uh, mechanism of wet scrubber, what is the different uh, type of equipments for that wet scrubbing of uh, that particulate material separation and also how to calculate the efficiency of the wet scrubber and also what are the different factors that will uh, you know affect on the collection efficiency of that particle by this, uh, by this you know uh, wet scrubber either uh, plate uh, or spray or packed or uh, fluid edge weight uh, uh, scrubber. So, all those cases that uh, one thing is the geometry effect even uh, the flow rate effect and also the physical properties of the uh, system either particle uh, properties even uh, the solvent properties even the uh, packed uh, material surface properties all those things will be affecting on the collection efficiency. So, uh, I uh, think uh, it is well understood to you please go through once again these slides for uh, your understanding and if you have any doubt you can ask through this email here. So, in the next uh, you know couple of lecture we will discuss uh, more about that you know particulate matter uh, separation, but this will be it will be uh, regarded as a filtration and there are different types of filtration will be there. So, we will be discussing in the successive lecture. So, thank you for giving uh, attention. So, next lecture will be equal to filtration of cross flow microfiltration and membrane. Thank you. Have a nice day.